Hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today I have a 2006 Nissan Xterra owner of the vehicle complains that when he accelerates he pushes gas sometimes the vehicle doesn't want to go like a sluggish like a little bit lazy and uh, it does it just sometimes it doesn't always uh, do it and the uh, check-in like comes and goes comes and goes at this at this moment it doesn't have it but I'm gonna see what's going on I'm gonna scan it Checking in light is not on right now. I have not turned on the vehicle, but I'm gonna see if I can turn it on. This car is a manual transmission, by the way. All right, it doesn't seem like it's shaking. It's running so smoothly, at least since the beginning. I just turned it on. I'm gonna keep it running uh, for now. And it's running very smoothly with no problem. It only happens once in a while when he accelerates. It seems like it doesn't want to go and it takes a little bit of more time to accelerate than usual but it's just sometimes but so far it's running very smoothly any repair I'm gonna be doing here will apply for Nissan Frontier, Nissan Pathfinder with a 4.0 liter engine right there before going any farther I just realized that after about 7-8 minutes uh, the, the engine is running the engine is running at this point it has a small miss I can tell misfire but very small if I go to the engine it, it's not even noticeable uh, someone who doesn't have the experience will not even notice about the miss but I can tell that it has a, a misfire a very small misfire and let's see oh there we go so cylinder number five misfire P0305 I knew it checking it uh, service engine soon is not on the owner of the vehicle says that sometimes it comes, sometimes it goes, it comes and goes. It doesn't want to accelerate, that's when the check-in light comes on. And then after that it goes and it doesn't come back until the next time that the same happens. Uh, but it has a very small miss. I, I, I knew that since the beginning. Almost, uh, since a few minutes later I turned it on. Okay, if you come here, that's cylinder number 5 right there. I will not provide instructions on how to remove it. That's a 10 millimeter bolt and disconnect it from the connector and that's all. I'm going to also provide a diagram. If you have a problem with this, you never know if it could be the ignition coil plug, the spark plug, could be problems on the wires, could be problems in the PCM, uh, intake, air leaks, uh, leaks in the exhaust pipe anything uh even the fuel pump uh, fuel injectors a problem in the fuel injector wiring anything but most of the time it's going to be the ignition coil plug with the spark plug sometimes either can, could be the engine inside that has a, an, an internal uh, problem and in the valves or piston or anything in the engine okay i'm gonna be installing a new ignition coil pack here i have it already this is the old one uh, it seems like this ignition coil pack is so bad, it has kind of been burned here outside. It, it looks kind of burned here. It should not be looking like this, kind of burned here. Like the insulation here, like the boot, is not holding too much anymore and it kind it kind escape here. That spark kind of like, like, like escaping here maybe. Very little, not a lot, but it does. Don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I'm gonna just compare them. See how it looks and see the other one. Nothing. I know this one is new one, but it's a new one, but still. So because if I take one of the other ones, probably it's not gonna look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that, but before I'm gonna remove the, the spark plug, because I'm gonna remove the spark plug too. Nissan does not provide instructions on how to test the ignition coil pack. It does when it comes to the injectors. I'm going to be providing the, the, the instruction on how to test the injectors in case if you don't have to go through all of that. And I'm going to be providing the, the ignition coil pack's wire diagram, the wire diagram for the injectors also for this vehicle. It's going to apply for Nissan Frontier, Nissan Pathfinder, the same. I'm gonna be providing the diagram too. Not instructions on how to read it. I, I'm just gonna provide that just in case if you have to go through any um, to any of the stuff. Now, this is the new spark plug that is going in. 
and this is the old one that it just came out and I want you to tell one thing and I'm pretty sure the camera is picking that up because I can see it see the difference so the old one is bad too the spark plug is also bad you can see the gap the small like a little like a little pilot like that that where the spark comes out on the tap has come off on this one it has nothing the gap has become so white so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this spark plug and the ignition coil plug right there all right before the new spark plug uh, going in just apply a little bit of uh, NSC grease around a little bit not a lot I don't put on the last two, uh, two thread here to uh, to avoid any chances and it doesn't go into the cylinders and when I put it in the spark plug well I place it like that with my finger on top and I, I don't let it drop I don't drop it I just keep it with this finger until it reaches the bottom I'm gonna tie it by hand as much as I can new ignition coil pack here I'm gonna see if I can put it with a connector already. I'm gonna connect it here first. This connector uh, gives you a lot of space as you can see, which is good. And I also checked the connector already, the connector of the of the ignition coil pack. That's something that you gotta do every time you do a job like this. The 10 millimeter bolt here for the ignition coil pack. So the vehicle is running so smoothly right now. Okay, and right now I'm gonna be taking the spark plug and the ignition coil pack and the spark plug and bank two. This is bank two on the other side here uh, to compare the ignition coil pack with the other one and also the spark plug to compare with the, the ones I took there. And I want to say that the engine is running so smoothly. It has been without misfire for about 10 minutes after I installed the new spark plug and the new ignition coil pack. Even though it was a very small miss, but I, I can tell that the car doesn't have a miss anymore, at least for the next 10 minutes that I've been running the engine. Here is the 10mm bolt here. From here. I'm gonna leave it here for now. This is the one I took out. As you can see right there, it looks burned. Now let's look at this one. See the difference? See the difference right there? Look at the difference here. Look at the difference here. I'm I'm turning them around. See? This one is burning here, it's burnt. This one is not. This one is bad. So now, okay, this one is the good one here. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. And now I'm going for the spark plug. I'm not replacing this spark plug. I don't have another one right now at this point. Now. And this is the other one here. I'm gonna get it out of this bag. And see the difference this one has like a small like a pilot like a like a little pin let's call it something like that to be identified to be identified a little bit better but in this one is completely gone so the gap on this one is much bigger as you can as you can see see right there so this one is also bad this one seems like it's pretty old too and and it should be replaced but it will not be replaced at this point now I'm gonna add a little bit of NSC grease before putting it in and I'm not gonna be showing how to install it because it's very easy but I, I just wanted to show the difference so you can learn how to identify uh, better spark plugs compare one with the other and also ignition coil plugs you can see it on the there are always ways to uh, to determine uh, because in this case Nissan doesn't have any instructions on how to test the ignition coil plugs but he only uh, visually inspected but by, by visually inspected you can determine if it's better if it's good thanks for watching and god bless you all